Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Carbro, and welcome to the series where I teach you how to build a Discord.pyrobot for your server. Today we are actually going to be creating the bot on a Discord developer portal, so let's get into it. First thing we need to do is open the internet again, because of course I closed it down. Um, in Google, I'm just using the Zarin search because it's easier. Uh, in Google you can type Discord developers and it will probably come up. Imagine that, what? yeah there we go. A Discord developer portal, my applications. Uh, so you'll come to a screen, yours will probably be empty, mine's pretty full because I've made quite a lot of bots. Um, and you'll want to come up here to where it says new application. And you'll want to give it a name. I'm giving mine the name Carburetta because it's a nice pun and thing. Um, so you'll be presented with this screen, you can give, you can change your uh, bot's name here, you can give it a description if you want, I don't really bother with that. Or you can give it a profile picture, which we are actually going to do. Going to quickly nip into the da -da 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 branding through and then just give it my channel's profile picture because it's easier. Uh, having that profile picture will also actually update it for the bot as well, um, which we need to create. Um, so you come to the bot thing, I kind of forgot I wouldn't sit there. You come to this little bot tab down here and click add bot. Yes, do it. And now you have a bot application. Um, uh, if your bot is going to be uh, publicly available, so if you're planning to make a bot for Discord bots, then you'll want to keep public bot checked. I'm not going to do that because I only want the bot in a single server. <clears throat> and then we don't need to really worry about the rest of it on this page. The only thing we do need to worry about now is this OAuth2 section here, which is how we actually invite the bot to our server. So first we click bot. And then we choose our permissions. I'm just going to give the bot administrator permissions because we're going to be doing a lot with it and it's easier to explain. However, you can customize all your permissions here that your uh, bot will need and it will come out with this little uh, authorization string here. You click copy, you open a new tab, you paste that link and you're taken to this page here. Um, this page will probably look different by the time you see it because Discord changes it a lot. We're going to select server, we're going to put it in the Carbon Tutorial server. Hit continue, check the permissions are correct. Prove we're not a robot. And that was sufficient. So now if we actually go into the server, we will have a new bot Carbon just joined. So this is actually the old bot. <laughs> uh, this is the bot I made in the last server telling us that the bot for this server is actually here. Um, and where is it? It should be offline down here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. So there's our little bot. Um, just sitting there waiting to be used. Um, so the process is literally that simple that it only took, what, three minutes to do? Um, uh, but that does bring us to the end of the video because that's all I was going to do in this one. Um, so if you like the video, then say hello down below. If you have any questions, leave them down there or put them in the, in the Discord server in the description. Uh, if you really like the video, then consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss out on future ones. And if you really, really like the video, then consider supporting me on Patreon because it would be really cool of you to do. You don't have to do it, of course, but it's nice and you get a, a few nice little benefits, including extra access in the Discord. Ooh, fun times. Um, but yeah, I will see you next time where we create a GitHub repository for our bot.